This man set out for a routine walk, not anticipating any unusual discoveries. As time went on, he was taken aback to learn that the creature he had brought home was not a puppy at all. When Andy Muse woke up during a cold winter morning, the first thing he thought about was warming himself up with some exercise. He wasn't in the mood for anything too strenuous, and he eventually settled on a nice long walk. Fortunately for him, he lived in one of the more remote areas of Siberia, and there was a forest located behind his house. The man slipped on his boots, grabbed his thickest coat, and headed outdoors. Andy followed a clear footpath where many people before him had walked, and where many more would follow him. He visited the woods often, and his journey was always the same. On this day, he wanted to try something different. So, he took a left and went down a path he had never seen. The trees seemed wider in this new area and they were very tall. Andy could only see a little bit of sunshine peeking through the leaves. All of a sudden, Andy heard an unusual sound. Even though it was faint, he could already tell that it was a cry for help. He followed the sound since it wasn't too far from where he was. It didn't take long for him to find the source. Curled up against a tree was a baby animal, it was a puppy. The puppy's eyes were closed. It looked no more than a few weeks old. Andy couldn't imagine why anyone would abandon a helpless creature in the middle of a forest. The sight broke his heart. He stepped closer to the shivering animal with outstretched arms. He picked up the puppy and held it close, hoping that his gloved hands would be able to provide some warmth to the poor animal. He didn't have any time to think about anything other than keeping the pup safe. Andy rushed home. As the man rescued an abandoned puppy, his gut feeling told him that this was going to be one of the most important things he had ever done. When he finally arrived back at his house, he took some blankets out and wrapped the ice-cold puppy up. He ran around to turn the heating on and collect some water. After a few minutes of being within Andy's care, the puppy had stopped shivering. It already looked like it was in a better state. Andy called the local vet and asked for a checkup. He wanted to make sure that the animal was healthy and happy. Andy had known the puppy for no more than a few hours, but already he could tell that they were going to become very close. Once again, he didn't really think his plans through and simply trusted his instinct. He adopted the stray pup and named him Ikea. Over the next few months, Ikea grew larger. Andy noted that this new pet had a big appetite. It had been that way since the first day they had met. However, Ikea's hunger only grew with time. Andy knew that young animals required a lot of nutrients. In particular, canines and other mammals needed to feed on a regular basis to sustain their energy and weight. And yet, Akia's eating habits continued to surprise Andy. As Akia grew bigger, his facial features seemed to sharpen, but his body shape grew wider. One thing that began to gnaw at Andy's mind was Akia's breed. It was a mystery that he couldn't crack. It was just a little bit of curiosity, since he had never seen a dog like Akia before. Andy had a lot of friends who were dog owners, so he turned to them with this burning question. They had no clue. They were just as confused as Andy was. He sent people pictures and videos of Akia at different stages, hoping that someone would have an answer, and yet his efforts were in vain. Something as simple as figuring out a dog-specific breed ended up becoming an impossible challenge. As the final resort, Andy reached out to an animal expert. The expert asked for a meeting in person so that she would be able to identify what breed Akia was. Soon after, Andy and Akia were in the car driving towards the expert's location. What do you think happened next? Comment down below with your thoughts. Andy walked into the practice with Akia attached by a leash. After speaking to the receptionist, he was directed to the expert's room. As he walked in, the expert's jaw dropped. The woman couldn't believe her eyes. Andy had spent all that time thinking that he was raising a puppy, only to find out later that it's not a dog. It turned out that Akia was a wolf. To make matters even more intriguing, Akia was not just any random wolf, but a Eurasian gray wolf. This species is well known to be the largest canine on Earth. Wolf cubs and puppies share many resemblances, so it was only natural for Andy to make that mistake. As Akia grew older, it became unmistakably clear that he was not a typical dog but a majestic gray wolf. His size, strength, and the subtle wildness in his eyes were undeniable. An animal expert, noticing Akia's impressive stature, explained to Andy that the sheer size difference was a significant clue. With the revelation of his cherished pet's true species, Andy had to shift his focus to ensuring Akia's well-being. The idea of a tame wolf living among humans sparked fascination and curiosity, 
making Akia a local sensation. Word about Akia's presence quickly reached the local zoo. Zookeepers began bombarding Andy with phone calls and emails, fervently attempting to persuade him to send Akia to their care. They painted vivid pictures of spacious enclosures and expert attention. However, Andy was wary. He had heard unsettling stories about zoos, tales of confinement and unhappy animals that made him reluctant to even set foot in one, let alone entrust his friend to such a place. The alternative options involving sanctuaries or wildlife reserves were equally daunting and filled Andy with a deep sense of unease. Many people encouraged Andy to release Akia back into the wild, some of them fearing for the safety of Andy and his neighborhood. Andy was unsure about this, since there was no guarantee that Akia would be safe in the woods. He remembered the first day he met the wolf cub. Akia was left all alone to fend for himself. Even though some people would argue that it was the most ethical thing to do, Andy could give reasons as to why he didn't believe that was the case. Instead, the best choice seemed to be evident. Akia had already spent so much time with Andy and adapted to a new lifestyle. It only made sense to let the wolf stay with him. Andy had already taken ownership of the wolf, and it didn't feel right to give him up. At first, Andy's family was hesitant about his choice to raise a wolf. There are a lot of potential dangers when it comes to interacting with wild animals. Wolves in particular can be unpredictable. They are often feared for their carnivorous hunger and brute strength. Nevertheless, in the time that Andy had gotten to know Akia, the canine had never shown even a hint of aggressiveness towards any human. Andy felt as if there was nothing to be scared of. Akia was just like a domesticated dog. It had been over a year and a half since Andy adopted Akia, and they had grown to become inseparable. Andy chose to follow his heart instead of listening to the judgments of others. Eventually, his friends and family fully supported his decision. Andy was grateful that he had come across the young creature in the woods, and Akia was grateful that someone had found him. To this day, they lived together in Andy's Siberian home, as happy as they could possibly be. In fact, the relationship Andy formed with Akia inspired the man to help other wild animals in need. Andy created several wild animal bases across Russia where gray wolves can live safely. These bases have grown in popularity and there are now a range of canines resting there, such as foxes and coyotes. Andy's work has saved the lives of countless creatures. In order to get more people to sympathize for canines, Andy turned to social media to share his experiences and his online fans are treated with countless pictures and videos. The internet is the perfect place to spread awareness about the protection of canines. What an incredible story. The story of Andy and Ekia has touched the hearts of people all over the world and I hope that it has done the same for you. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, don't forget to hit that like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so please leave a comment below. See you in the next video.